so in the last year, there were 40 new medicines approved for cancer. And I'm lucky. I'm a GI oncologist. I only really have to focus on a couple of new medicines, where if you're a general oncologist, I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you keep up with all of the different new medicines that are out there, particularly ones that you're not going to use all that often, that you might only use once or twice a year. And how do you know the subtleties of how to give the medicine, because if you follow the package insert for a lot of these medicines, it's not really the optimum way to go. So for the newest medicine, TAS-102 or Lonserf, think of this as oral chemotherapy. Yes, it's a cousin of fluoropyrimidine, but remember, it's not a hand-foot diarrhea mucositis drug. It's a myelosuppression drug, so it's different uh, than what you would think with capecitabine has funky dosing, 35 milligrams per meter squared. You got to do some math. It has two pill sizes. Decide whether you're going to use the two pill sizes to be precise or just pick the closest single pill that you can get in multiples up to the dose that you're giving. Twice daily, five days on, two days off, five days on, two days off, two weeks off. This is something that's immediately a bit confusing to patients. Make sure you provide calendars. Make sure you bring that patient back for that day 15 and, of course, day 28, 29 CBC because a lot of these patients will have low ANCs. You need to delay doses or consider growth factors uh, in these patients. Now, we talk about this medicine having not much in the way of side effects, but about, in my experience, 20% or so will have some nausea, some GI upset, so prepare them for that but a vast majority will tolerate this medicine very well. It also is not a drug that causes a great deal of responses. And I realize that a lot of us get hung up on wanting responses, but let's just remember that in, in second line, you didn't get many responses either in your patients using those standard IV chemos. And so what these drugs are about, what this drug is about is stabilization of cancer. And in about one in five patients, they'll have stabilization out to six months. In this refractory setting, that is a meaningful chunk of time, and you don't want to leave it on the table. Find the right patient, good performance status, smaller volume disease, great patients to put on this. Um, if, if you're resting them from other things, myelosuppression is the big side effect here, so it rests them from some of the other side effects. Um, and I think these are some key tricks, key inside baseball, if you will, of how to manage Lawn Surf TAS-102. In uh, September 22nd of 2015, FDA approved uh, a new drug for refractory colon cancer. It's called Lonserf TAS-102 or Triforidine uh, Tibracil. Um, the drug approved for uh, patients who have progressed on uh, standard therapy such as fibromidine, oxaliplatin, arintican, BIF, and if they are RAS wild type, as uh, you also have to have uh, anti-GFR. Uh, uh, Lonserf is actually two drugs, is uh, triforidine and tibracil. Triforidine is the active compound that integrate in the DNA and cause uh, cell cycle arrest. However, the problem when you ingest triforidine, it gets metabolized or degraded very quickly by an enzyme called thymidine phosphorylase. Therefore, when you combine tibracil to triforidine, uh, the tibracil actually inhibit that degrading enzyme. Therefore, uh, you end up with the active compound, triforidine, with, uh, intact, and therefore it can go and uh, uh, affect the cancer cells. So, you know, this is uh, an important moment for our patients. They've been, we've been taking care of them for a couple of years. They know the parking lot attendant's name. They know, you know, how to do everything. They're cancer veterans, if you will. Um, a lot of times people focus on the response rate of these two medicines, that there isn't an actual response rate. Um, but I, we have to remember that it controls the cancer in about half the patients and about 20% will have six month uh, stabilization. Those are very valuable chunks of time for patients in this refractory setting. So we don't want to minimize or devalue that control. But what are some of the other important things at this point for our patients? I think um, another thing that we're really kind of a conversation we're having at this time is number one, quality of life. Mm. How do they want their you know, life to look right now mm. while where they're on these medications. And then number two, um, we're having a lot of discussions about goals of care. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, what is, what is the plan going forward? What is their goal for 
Yeah, and we often haven't had that discussion since maybe day one, right. where we, you know, where the focus is aggressive and management. But now that patient's a better consumer, quality of life's important. Uh -huh. No, I agree. I agree with with both aspect, and uh, I also uh, copy the uh, quality of life because mm -hmm. at this time you really want to also highlight uh, maybe they they should take vacation time mm. to just go with their family, go to their grandkids' graduation. Mm. And I don't like say, okay, you have to come in this cycle and that, that day to allow them to do what they like to do. So a great advantage of these oral therapies is they're free. They don't have to come every two weeks and get IVs and they can do these kinds of things. And it makes for a perfect time for us as healthcare providers to readdress those really important goals of care for our patients. The drug was approved uh, based on the recourse study, which was a phase three study uh, international randomized patient with refractory metastatic colon cancer and two to one design to receive either uh, Lonserve plus, plus best support of care or uh, best support of care. Uh, the study included about 800 patients uh, were, were enrolled in about 18 months, which uh, uh, I think was uh, fast accrual. And the uh, primary endpoint was overall survival. Secondary endpoint was progression-free survival, safety, and durability. Uh, the study was given at uh, 35 milligram per meter square um, on uh, day one, one to five, and eight to 12 every 28 uh, day cycles. Uh, maximum dose was 80 milligram uh, BID. The study was positive and it met its uh, primary endpoint with uh, improvement in survival. Patient who received the uh, long serve, uh, median over survival was about 7.1 months. Uh, patient with the placebo arm was about 5.3 months. With improvement, different, uh, improvement in overall survival, about 1.7 uh, months. The study actually uh, was, the result was updated in ASCO GI in 2016 and uh, the benefit was about a total of two months. Because of, uh, because of the improvement in survival and also the uh, progression-free survival, uh, the study was approved in the, in the refractory setting. Because uh, of that approval, now we have two agents in the refractory setting. We have Lonserf and we have Rogarafenib. Uh, 